Yeah. Volunteering as a children's. Hello. Hi, class. Storyteller. Storyteller, Hello. yeah. Hi, teacher. Good Hello, evening. teacher. I'm sorry, I'm a little late. Hi, how are you? I'm, good. I'm good. My, my, it wasn't recognizing my, um, I have, I have three monitors and, um, and I have two PCs. So when I teach you, I, I connect my PC, but I had not disconnected the monitor from the other PC. So I was like, how come this doesn't start your way? Oops. All right. Sorry about that. How are you? Everything good? It is fine. Good. Everything good. good. Yes, very good. A little it's... tire, little tire across the traffic. Right? That's every day, right? What? Yes. Man, the traffic. It's. It's. it's I don't understand. Everywhere. I don't. I don't okay, understand. Exactly. Gasoline is more expensive, and there's more traffic. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Or no? Yeah, we don't know. That's right? in Salvador. Yeah, man. It's... Oh, man. Any time and any place. Is there traffic in Metapan, Mirna? Yeah, and, and the streets is very um, chiquitas. <laughs> narrow, very right? Narrow. Oh, yeah. yeah. The streets are usually one lane, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. Let me open where we left off mm -hmm. yesterday. We're going to do the exercise. Let me see. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me open share my screen with you. Okay, so we are here in the... This one, right? Yes. Rewrite the sentences? No. We didn't finish there yesterday, I think. I thought we did. No, no, we didn't. No, it is. No, we didn't we didn't even we have a lot of problems with this. Yes. No, we did the listening exercise, correct? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. We did the video. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Then this is next. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, like, it is. Yeah, that's what I told you. This is where we left off. Okay. Do you know what left off is? <laughs> it's a phrasal verb. Like this is where we stopped. Donde nos quedamos. Exactly. Now you know the word leftover. Have you heard leftover? Yeah, yeah. With the food. No. Leftover with the food. food. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because it comes from the verb leave off. It's like you know when you're watching a movie on Netflix, and mm -hmm. you stop it, and then you when you play it again, it it tells you you want to continue where you left off or continue from the beginning. Okay. All right. All right, so let's do this. It says rewrite sentences. <clears throat> Instructions, read the following sentences, then combine them to make one single sentence. Remember to use capital letters at the beginning of your sentences and a period at the end. I'm the youngest in the family. The nice thing is I get a lot of attention. All right, so what do you guys have? Um, uh, for example, um, one of the, um, I'm sorry, one, 
I think that can be the night thing is, I guess, I don't know. Not like a, an advantage of being the youngest of okay. in the family is that I get a lot of attention. Okay, an advantage or one of the nicest thing about being the youngest in the family is that I get a lot of attention. One of the best thing? One of the best okay. things. Okay, good. Those three are correct. Okay. If you put one of those three, they're correct. If the system told you they're wrong, it's because whoever invented this system only, they only, only thought there's only one they possible answer. What about one of the good things? One of the good things, one of the advantages, one of the great things, one of the beautiful things, something positive about being the youngest in the family is that you get a lot of attention. Mirna, you are the youngest or oldest? Youngest, right? Youngest. Can you give us an example of that? Mm -hmm. um, well, you can tell us one of the good things or bad things. One of the bad, thing, bad things that being uh, the youngest in you know, my family is that my sister protect me a lot. Oh, okay, good. So one of the bad things about being the youngest is that your sister is overprotective. They are toxic. Oh, really? <laughs> they are always, who are you talking to? Let me see. Hey, hey, let me tell my mom. Let me tell no. my mom. Mm, one of my sister do. Does that. <laughs> so, hey, but it's better. It's good. You know, believe it or not, that's good. Okay, next. I have a younger sister. The trouble is she's always she always wants to borrow my clothes. What do you think that is? Um, One of the bad things of, of having a younger sister is that she always wants to borrow my clothes. Awesome. Good. What else? Uh, one of the trouble of having a younger sister mm -hmm. is that she always wants to borrow my clothes. All right. Good. So now is something negative. One of the bad things, one of the... Um, and you know, and actually, I don't like the trouble because... The it trouble, the, I would put the problem. Problem, one of one of the problem of having, mm -hmm. of having a younger sister is that she always wants to borrow my clothes. Yes. <clears throat> well, All right. But when you, when you write down, I, I put so many, All so right, many ways. Did, did everybody do this? Even though if you got it wrong, did everybody do it? Yes. yes. All right, let's show the answer. Teacher, I have one question. Sure. When you said, uh, when you uh, change the word travel for problem, um, if I said one of the problems, should I say it in plural or... In the other way, like one of the problem or one of the problems of having? Very good question. Um, no, it has to be plural because you're saying one of the problems. Okay. Because if it's only singular, it's one problem of having. Mm -hmm. if, if, you're, okay. if you're saying it specifically, one problem, yes, it's singular. But here you're saying one of the problems. So that's one of many. Okay. Thank hey, you. But good question. Nice. Okay, it says, number one, I am the youngest in my family. The nice thing is I get a lot of attention. So it says, the nice thing about being the youngest in my family is that I get a lot of attention. Good. The nice thing about being the youngest in the family is that I get a lot of attention. <laughs> they're, see, they're both okay. They're good. Did anybody put something? Wrote, I just wrote the, the answer in the platform. But it always shows me that's wrong. Oh, yes. really? Yeah. Here, let's do it. Oh, 
Oh, wait. So I wrote the, the end. first option. Sometimes the space. No, but I copied and paste, so. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going to happen now. Don't forget. I, I copied and paste. Look, this is one possible answer, right? Yeah. So Don't forget copy. the capital letter. And... No, no, yeah, but I'm, I'm copying exactly from them. Yeah. So I have a younger sister. The trouble is, yeah, I. you know what? This is not correct. It's not the trouble. You can't say that. Trouble. Um, Trouble is different. Trouble is like a very, very big problem. Leo. Trouble is un Leo. Like, I am in trouble. But the answer is going to be right. So it says, I have a younger sister. The trouble is she's all, she always wants to borrow my clothes. The trouble with having a younger sister is that she always wants to borrow my clothes. The trouble with having a younger sister is she always wants to borrow my clothes. Let's do this one then. Sorry, teacher. I I don't know if I'm wrong, but having uh, it's possible that having a can that ha, that have can be a uh, Jerome, or I don't know. That's a that's a very good question. Okay, look. Usually, in English, verbs that have a gerund are these verbs. Look. What verb do you see right now? Drinking. I'm drinking, I'm yes. Drinking. What verb do you see right now? Smoking. Smoking. Um, what verb do you see right now? Talking. Good. Eating. What verb do you see right now? Thinking. Worrying. No, actually, I want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but so in conclusion is, if you see the verb, it has ing. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. If you can't see the verb, for example, you can't say I am wanting. I I am loving. I am loving. I am having. Yes, people say it, but it's not correct. Carla Chavez, you're a Spanish teacher, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. In Spanish, we say, because in English, it's not correct. Mm -hmm. Mira, estoy, estoy necesitando un favor. No, lo correcto es, es necesito. necesito. Right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, mira, estoy queriendo, desde hace rato que estoy queriendo comer mariscos. Mm -hmm. you, you can't yeah, say Korean. Don't... Okay, good. I imagine because, mm -hmm. me, siempre me pregunté eso. It's the same grammar in English and Spanish, I think. If you see yeah, the I'm verb, okay. if you see the action, then it has a gerundio, it has a gerund. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you don't yeah. see the action, if you don't see the verb, no gerund. But in that sentence, the, the trouble with having a younger sister, I don't know. With, because it has the with the preposition. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm saying. Uh, it's really not correct. Grammatically, it's not correct. Okay. Yeah, so in my opinion, no lo hubieran puesto because grammatically it's not correct, but people say it. For example, loving, I'm still loving you. It's not correct. As I still love you. Pero remember, la gente que hacía estas canciones, oraciones, no sabían la gramática. <laughs> yes, so grammatically it's not correct, but yes, you can say that. You know, like having a, a son is the most beautiful experience in my life or... Um, you know, you can say having a daughter is the best experience in my life. Okay, so number three, I'm away at college. 
The bad part is that I miss my family. So it says the best part, uh, sorry. The bad part of being away is I miss my family. The bad part of being away is that I miss my family. Number one, it's not correct. The bad part of being away is I miss my family. This is not is correct. It, is it missing my family instead of is I miss my family? That's, that's, that's good too. Missing my family is one of the bad parts about being away in college. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. You can say that. That's good. Here, let's copy paste this. I work at night. The worst thing is I can't have dinner with my family. The worst thing about working at night is that I can't have dinner with my family. Who works here at night that was telling me that he, he didn't like night shift? I remember someone told me that you didn't like night shift. Me teacher. Yeah, it was you, right? Yes. Why? So um, give me an example. Working at night. Working the, uh, the bad part of working at night is that I feel tired every day. Maybe. Yeah. Yes, this is the bad part, the bad part of being at night. The and, the, and the good part? The good part is the maybe the extra hours. Okay. <laughs> and no traffic. I, yes, there is a lot of things. But I imagine that's depressing when you're driving to work and you see everybody going out. <laughs> yes. For me, it was very hard because I, I worked in the airport. Okay. So I drive, I used to drive at 12. Yeah, no, 12 at 12 at the night, you know. So the the road was very lonely and I feel sometimes very insecure. Of course. Yes. And so where did you work in the airport? In Aeroman. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you still work in Aeroman? No, I don't. I don't. But you don't get transportation? Yes, but sometimes I get my car, so. Oh, okay. Yes. That's why I used to. Hey, die. I have a question. So, what time did you leave? What time? Sorry. Like, what time were you driving? Were you driving at three in the morning in the street? Um, three minutes, I think. No, no, no. Like, um, what time? From what time to what time did you work? Uh, from uh four p.m. to ten p.m. sometimes, or twelve. Okay. So. so midnight. So when you were coming back from the airport at 12, mm -hmm. are there pupuserias open in Olocuilta? Uh, yes, I, I oh, remember really? that I saw some pupuserias open, but oh. only one or two, I remember. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Good, oh, okay, cool. Maybe, I always, I always wonder that. Yeah. Yes, no, but maybe for the people that came from the airport at no, yes, or truck Didn't drivers. I, Always is open. I think so. I did. Or truck what? drivers. Yes, because it, this is the uh, the run. No, sorry, the the way from the people who drive uh, trucks for the yeah, Kenya, truck Kenya, drivers. Kenya, yes, uh -huh. they used to uh, use, I think, uh, or eat pupusas at midnight. Yes, and remember, it's a tradition to always come from the airport and eat pupusas, except yeah. Kalena. She eats, um, she eats Wendy's. Yes, I love Wendy's. I remember last time she said that she was going to the airport yes. and she was listening to the class and she was coming back and everybody asked her, "Hey, did you eat pupusas?" She said, "No, no, I ate Wendy's." Wendy's <laughs> <laughs> always. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's see. Um, I am the oldest in the family. One bad thing is that I always have to babysit. So one bad thing about being the oldest in the family is that I always have to babysit. Okay, let's see.
Oh my mm -hmm. God, I got them all correct. <laughs> but listen, um, let's do let's do let's do one 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 round. I want everybody to give me one example. Um, I'm going to start with Kalena because she's the first one from my left. Kalena, can you tell me what is one bad thing about being a teacher? One thing about is one bad is, thing. One bad thing about being a teacher is the um, I don't know what adjective can I put to the parents to to how you say lidiar with the parents? Deal with. Deal with the parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay i imagine the parents they expect your the son to be full 10 and they don't participate yes <laughs> okay good so kalena can, can you can you tell me that sentence again please one of the bad things about being, being a teacher is to deal with the parents excellent cool <laughs> nice thank you irene hi hi teacher how are you Good thing. Oh my God, you look so distant. Yes, because I have to, uh, my cell phone camera and my computer on the other side. Okay. So, oh yeah, you, there, there's two. Ide yes. Irena. Yes. Yes, there are two because one for the camera and one for the computer. Irena, can you tell me, I, I remember I like your name, but can you tell me one, one bad thing about being named Irena? Ah, yes. I, I imagine the answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. One bad thing about my name, about Irena, being named, about being named Irena, is that all the people call me Irene, and I hate that. Yes, I imagine. And and my other name is Jocelyn, and all the people call me Jacqueline or Jocelyn. <laughs> yeah okay Irena 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 yeah okay good are you not common that's cool it's not yeah that's what I told her it was pretty cool it's not yes. common thank you all right Alex yeah can you sure. tell me one bad thing about being um, about being a selecta fan just one please because i know there are a million there are one million yeah one bad things about being a selector fan is that you almost always you get uh disappointed excuse me almost oh. always or or always <laughs> yeah always right you you get uh disappointed yes or or or, or, or when you make you down, right? Yeah. When... <laughs> yeah, right. they always make you. <laughs> Sonia, <laughs> hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, do you like sopa de pata? No. You don't, I don't like sopa like... de pata? No. no. <laughs> I don't well, like. Do you I like? Do. I do. I love it. Yeah, man. Everybody is the best. You. <laughs> Sonia, do you like um, pupusas? Yes. Okay, they're excellent, right? But can you tell me one bad thing about eating too many pupusas? Uh, one bad thing? Uh -huh. Eat pupusas is I no, one bad thing about eating pupusas one ba bad thing about eating pupusas is I get more greasy no, but you get greasy or I don't understand. 
I get more greasy in my body. I don't know. Okay, I get body fat. I get body fat. Okay. Oh, let's make it more simple. One bad thing about eating too many pupusas is that you get fat. Or it's unhealthy. Okay. Yes. Okay. Luis Molina, can do you remember what Jenny said yesterday? So what is one good thing about working in Nanda? I don't remember about you don't remember what Jenny said yesterday about about her holidays. Yeah, I, I remember that 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 company is uh, autonomous, right? But I, I don't remember who is work there. Jenny Quesada. Jenny Quesada, okay. Remember yesterday she was telling us the story? A little bit, but not complete. You don't remember? No, I don't remember. Okay, who remembers? Hey, Jenny Oscar? Quesada. I, the, the, oh, Oscar, you weren't in class yesterday, correct? Yes, yes. I well, when yeah. one thing of, of work. One uh, good thing. One good thing of work at Anda is that we have a lot of benefits. Right. Yes, because you have um, national holidays. National and holidays and private holidays. Too. All right, good. Mm -hmm. You working under? No. Oh, because you said we. <laughs> oh, we. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, be, okay. I, I, I want. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. So the benefit is include uh, a lot of day, uh, day, days off, a lot of uh, schedule. And, and like a money, extra money payments yeah because all, all the can, benefits i i think remember i think the conclusion was the benefit about working in, in in anda is that she gets both benefits like a public company and a private company right so remember esas prestación is called benefits includes everything mm -hmm. okay Carla Chavez, do you live alone? No, I have a housemate. You have a housemate? Yeah. Or a roommate? I live with a friend, a roommate. Oh, okay. I mean, we live in a house together, but I oh, think, okay. what's, what's the right, actually, that's a good question. What's the right um, word, housemate or roommate? You can say roommate because uh, you, you 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 sleep in different rooms. Okay. So but I housemate. Have okay, cool. What is? Uh, excuse me for the question. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a Gary. Oh, okay. I was hoping it was a boy because I wanted to ask you. You know, like what is something bad about living with a boy? <laughs> well, I grew up with boys because oh, okay. I have two brothers. So. <laughs> okay, so what, what is something bad about living with a boy? Um, one of the bad things about living with a boy. We uh, burn very boys. loud. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's that they are very, at, at least the uh, my brothers used to be very lazy so me and my sister as the girls we have to do like most of the work at home so <laughs> that's a bad thing about living with them yeah it's true we're very lazy <laughs> all right cool but my sister lives with with two roommates that that they are boys and she said that uh, they are so um, ah, ordinados. Really? Really, yeah. <laughs> How old are they? Ah, uh, like 20. My sister is 20, 23, 24. 24. Well, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe it's true because the, the new generation today is very strange. 
like um, I see a lot of 20 year old boys that they don't like soccer. I say, hey, hey, I can keep all of us. I don't like soccer. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't understand a lot of them. And, and you know, they're very neat. They're very organized. And then they start talking about like um, pansexual, asexual, and, and all the sexual names I, I can't imagine. You know, and so me quedo and I said, oh my God, I am old. Because I don't understand the generation today. <laughs> but that's good. I, I wish I wish I wish I was neat, but I, I'm not an organized person. I'm not. But I always clean my 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 everything. I wash my clothes and everything, but I'm very lazy. All right. Yeah, I always clean my area. Just I my always, area. <laughs> yeah, only my area, like. Yeah. And you know what, you know, sometimes it's funny when you try to trick yourself. It's like when you know something looks dirty and you just cover it. Yeah. But it's still dirty anyway, so. <laughs> Larry. Hi. Hello, Larry. Can you tell me one bad thing about living in, in the European, well, can you tell me one bad thing about living in Croatia in this moment, in Ukraine? Ukraine. Oh, one of the, the bad things about living in Ukraine right now, it's the bombing. Yes, it's the war. Um, did you see that video of that Ukraine player on the weekend? He was from Manchester United, I think. The one who the, who who told Putin to to, to get uh, uh, the words uh, die. No, um, I have the video on on. And I don't know his name, but he was from the he is from the Ukraine, and when he was coming in, he went right. Everybody in the stadium started oh. clapping like with yeah. Ukrainian flags. And then the captain of the team, he took the, the captain and he put it on him. And he came in and he said like, he started clapping and everybody like, Ukraine. And he started crying. Yes, I yeah. saw. I cried watching that video because you see his like, you see yes. him crying. It was, it was very it emotional. Chelsea, Chelsea. He was from Chelsea, right? Yeah, in the Sunday. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was a very sad video. I show my wife. I'm like, oh my god, look at this video. And you know what my wife's answer was? Oh my god, he's so handsome. <laughs> and I said, that's not the point. <laughs> she looked his life. <laughs> she liked the play. I'm like, look, he's crying, man. I mean, have a heart. <laughs> and then she asked me, Pasame ese video. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> my my husband told me. This is a good, good jugador. <laughs> player. A, a, a player, but I, I like the leg. <laughs> <laughs> Look the body. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. <laughs> All right. Francisco Santos, what's up? Good evening. Hey. Who's that woman behind you? <laughs> Probably my mom. But she moves a lot. I uh, know it's the door. <laughs> no, there's a woman behind you in this moment. Look. Yeah, no, just ah, no. I made you look, made you look, I made you look. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're scared. Eh? <laughs> she's taking the class for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she's taking the class for free. Uh, well, where do you live, Francisco? Uh, here in San Salvador. And you work in Santa, where, where do you work in Santa Elena, right? Uh, yes, Las Cascadas. Where? Las Cascadas. Okay, you work in Las Cascadas, in the call center, right? Uh, yeah. And you live in, and what time do you go in? At uh, 7 a.m. 
to 5 p.m. All right. And um, where do you live? I know in San Salvador, but what part? Like uh, near of you. <laughs> is, uh, oh, yes. By Montserrat. By Montserrat, huh? right? Yes. So, oh. Do you do you do you go to there? Uh, do you go to Las Cascadas by car or bus? On motorcycle. I ride my motorcycle. Yes. Can you tell me one benefit about riding a motorcycle? Well, you know what? Tell me one good thing and one bad because I have like a million bad excuses. I have a lot of them, <laughs> but <laughs> one good thing to ride a, a motorcycle is that. Uh, you head faster than in a car. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you but, don't know what traffic is, right? Um, it depends. Because if you are in a hurry, sometimes you can like take some risk, but yes. it's up to you. But if you are not in a hurry, <laughs> it would be just like going the line. Uh, but a uh, bad thing is that sometimes uh, people who's driving in the car just wants to move aside when they are uh, like, for example, you are in the roundabout and they just go through the, there and like they have to stop and then and wait for you to uh, go ahead and then they will go into the roundabout. But I have uh, a question, Francisco. Can you drive? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Because my my conclusion is that I I know I know when a driver when a motorcycle driver has driven a car or not. Because we know that el famoso punto ciego, the blind spot. Yes, I always like I use the the horn because. Okay. Uh, good. Yes. Yeah, sometimes when I drive and sometimes when a motorcycle driver, he suddenly appears, it's like, and I say, this idiot, <laughs> he, no, because really, they, they, no, not you, I mean, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, people, because, yeah. some, because maybe he doesn't, he's never driven a car, so he doesn't understand that sometimes the, the car drivers, we can't see that part. And yeah. sometimes there are motorcycle drivers that I see them, and first they make sure. Okay, can I see a video? Okay, good. Be, because they're more conscious, like a because they know about that blind spot that we can't see. Even just today, even before I I I, I, I got home, it happened the same. Like uh, the car driver was like in this way, and I was here, and he was making the turn. And I was like, well, I have to stop because it, that's the that's the that's the risky part because yeah. you don't stop. I think I think driving a cyber is extremely dangerous. I cannot imagine riding a motorcycle. Yes, I am selling it. Yeah. <laughs> if my son uh, ever appears in a motorcycle, I'm going to break his legs. <laughs> no, no, last time uh, it somebody didn't uh, see me. And I just literally, I just uh, up move, move up to my my leg, and I just wait for it. <laughs> but uh, I just you just uh, closed your eyes and just <laughs> like, um, was like God take me I in your know. hands. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like so me uh, all of a sudden and it was just he, he also got shocked up. <laughs> like, I don't know. The only time I ever hit a motorcycle driver was in, um, but I was so angry that day because I, I had a, I had a, a Ford, a Ford, um, a camioneta, right? A, a Ford Escape. And I was going to, I think I was going to Suchitoto or something, but you know that under the bridge by, by the airport in um, mm -hmm. Ejercito Boulevard? Yes. Oh my God. I was I was in the last lane, so next to me was the wall. Yeah, so I was like, I was in the right lane, lane as carril class lane, and next to me, the only the only thing next to me was the wall. 
And I don't know how this motorcycle driver from Boyo Campero appeared next to me from the wall. And, and he just like, boom, and, and I hit the brake and what the f And I hit, <laughs> I hit the chicken. Oh. But, but I, it's a good thing I, I hit the brake, but I hit the chicken and that little, that little push, he flipped like two times. And um, he wanted me to pay him. And uh, you're crazy, man. Where, where did you up? And I still, I still couldn't understand how did he appear from the wall. And did, did you pay him? No, I told him what? What? <laughs> Are you serious? I have a camera in my car. Call the police. Con gusto. I'm gonna sue you. <laughs> yeah, I told. I stand a camera. You know, you appeared from the right, Mister. I don't know what happened to you. You know, and. I don't know. I, I, at the beginning, I felt bad, even though if it was not my fault, but his reaction really got me angry. Yes, like sometimes you don't have their, their reason. Like it yeah. happened to me once, but uh, it was like we were like uh, 10 kilometers and he hit me like from my side. Yes, and please sell, sell your motorcycle, man. It's not worth yes. it. It's too dangerous. That's, that's it's I'm dangerous trying. enough in car. I can't imagine. Yeah, Francisco, let's change the um, so, let's change the thing here. And now you ask somebody. Okay. All right. Like mm -hmm. the questions I have asked everyone. Now you ask somebody. Ask Miguel. Ask Nuri. Ask Rafael. Hello, Rafael. Good to see you. Um, Hello, teacher. Ask Ask Mirna or ask Sonia. Okay. Where are Rafael? Uh, now you're here. Uh, tell me, what is a, a good thing uh, to live alone? And About uh, living alone. The, uh, I'm sorry, uh, a good thing to live in. Uh, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> what is a good thing uh, to be alone and a bad thing to be alone? Okay, good. I understand. No, so tell me, uh, who are you asking? Uh, Rafael. Okay, good. So then you say, Rafael, tell me one good thing about living alone and one good thing and one good thing about being alone. Or you can say, Rafael, tell me one good and bad thing about living alone. If you want to make it simple. Okay. Can you repeat, please? Yes. Um, okay, Rafael, tell me uh, one and one good thing and a uh, bad thing to live in alone. About, oh, you, about you forget about, about, about remember, about, about, about. Sorry. All right, no, it's okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, Francisco, okay. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Okay, well, in first place, uh, I wish I was living alone, <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> well, one thing about being alone is maybe you can play your favorite music, uh, out loud, really high volume, <laughs> because right now you have to play it in not such loud volume. And mm -hmm. one um, bad, bad thing about living alone, maybe is that when you get sick, uh, nobody yeah. helps you and, and care about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, this, in this modern times of COVID. <laughs> that's true, that's true. All right, thank you. Good. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you, Rafael. Rafael, ask someone. Ask Jenny. Ask Esther. Ask Nuri. Ask Sonia. Ask Miguel. Mirna. Larry. Okay. Um, Nuri, how are you? Hi. Um, Hi, Jenny, Rafael. Uh, nice to see you. One but. Um, maybe one bad thing about being near nearby Lourdes. Okay, um, good. Near is um, near. near is um, is a preposition, and by is a preposition. So you can say, "Tell me one good thing about living near Lourdes or by Lourdes." Okay, tell me one um, one good thing about living. Nearby Lourdes. No, near Lourdes 
Oh, um, by Lourdes. I'm sorry, by Lourdes. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, one of the good thing um, about living in Lourdes is the weather. Always is cool, is fresh. Really? Lourdes is, yes. is, 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 is cool? But around the arboledas. Uh, well, hearing my song is always hey, fresh. Cool. That's, hey, yes. that, that's nice. Sometimes really? I have to use a sweater in the wow. night. Yes. My sister lives in the Lourdes and she say, and she tell me that um, it's always hot. No, maybe I live in uh, near of the volcano. Near the volcano. Yeah, maybe. She lives in, I don't know, near of Zona Franca because she works there. Por Salva. Yeah. Free zone. I was working there in Cologne for about five years, but it's always hot. Yeah. All right, cool. Maybe, Nuri, maybe you have a lot of trees near. Yes. Yes. All right, yeah, cool. All right, very good, Nuri. That's so nice that you live in a place that it's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love it. All right. Nuri, can you ask Miguel Franco a question, please? He's been very quiet today. Okay. Miguel Franco? Yes, hello. Okay. Uh, give me one, one bad thing about oh, um, about your work. Okay, uh, one thing, uh, one bad thing about, about, uh, about my job. Uh, In, about your work. Okay, one bad thing about my work is that I have a, a schedule from, I, I don't have a schedule, just uh, I work from, uh, 47 at the week. What do you mean? Yeah, I, I work uh, uh, every day at the week, uh, 40, uh, 40 hours. Okay. Uh, 20 to 24 hours. Wait, wait, wait. I, I work, work all day. I don't have a schedule. Okay, you work seven, seven days a week? Yes. Really? Why? Yeah, because uh, uh, sometimes uh, people from other countries send emails and I have to answer this, that emails. Okay. So that, can you tell us one bad thing about your work? Yeah, one thing, uh, one bad thing about the, my work is that I have to answer email every day. Okay. So, you can't go to the beach with your family on a Sunday? Yes, I go to the beach, but I have to be pay attention to my cell phone. And sending emails, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Hey, but a job is a job, right? Yeah, a job is a job. All right, cool. Your turn, Miguel Franco. Ask Jenny, please. Okay, Jenny, tell me what, what about think about waking up early in the morning? The bad thing about wake up in the morning is all the rest day, I be tired. That's it. All right. 
Cool. Jenny, please ask Esther. Esther, uh, can you tell me the bad thing about the beach in our country? Beach? Beaches. Sorry, now understand. Playas. Playas. Um, Oh, you know what? Next time, before you say playas, try to try to give like another explanation, like beaches. You know, the beaches like El Tunco Beach, uh, El Tunco Beach, uh, Spino Beach. Oh, okay. she'll understand. Oh, beach. <laughs> <laughs> One bad thing about visiting um, a beach, uh, uh, maybe can. Um, <laughs> Mm, a lot, a lot of sun. Uh, um, travel. Um, lo, lo lejos, far. Sorry, I, I don't understand. Can, can you repeat, please? One bad, one bad thing about visiting one beach. Uh, me can um, um, much much zoom or a lot of zoom. I don't understand what zoom is. What is, I'm sorry, tomb? Tunas. Probably she means, she means uh, the bee waves. Waves, mm -hmm. sorry. Oh, the bee waves. waves. The waves. Yeah. Is that the waves? It's uh, uh, two, five. Uh, I'm sorry, too far. Far, lejos. Okay. You really, you think the beach is far in El Salvador? Yes. Oh man, I no. live. <laughs> Where I do you live? In Cuscatlán. Cuscatlán. You know what? One friend of mine, he told me it's like what, one of the best things about El Salvador is that you have a beach 45 minutes anywhere from El Salvador. Oh. Yeah, no, but if it was an example, but wow, yeah. Because um, he says, he told me El Salvador is the first country where I can, I can, um, I can, I can eat breakfast in the volcano, eat lunch in the beach, and eat dinner in the city in one day. But with traffic, I don't know. I don't think so that it, that can be possible. On Sundays. On Sundays, Saturdays. On Sundays, yeah. Saturdays? I don't know. Yeah. Hey, don't, I mean, don't, don't ruin it, Mirna. Maybe, maybe not 45 minutes, but everything is quite closer than in other countries, maybe. Oh, yeah. Like, imagine in the United States, if you live, like, right in the middle. Some people are old and they have never seen a beach. Yeah. Like, if you live, like, in... Kansas. <laughs> Imagine you have to travel like 20 hours to see a beach. All right, Esther, can you please ask Larry? Okay. Um, let me, I mean, uh, say me, Larry. Hey, hi. Hello. Um, Say me one bad thing about um, uh, living with um, her parents. Oh, with your parents. What bad thing about living with your parents is uh, that they control you a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Really. <laughs> okay, Larry, can you ask me a question? Do you? Yeah. Uh, uh, please tell me one good thing about being a teacher. Oh man, one good thing about being a teacher is that you meet people all like every time. Always. Okay. One bad thing is that you sometimes forget the people. Oh, yes, of course. But because, because remember, remember, it's always like it's me. I remember my first, fourth, fifth grade teachers. I do remember them. I don't think they remember me because imagine they see so many people and every year different faces, you know, and sometimes it's funny because maybe I, I gave classes to uh, one time, one time I was, I was in La Gran Via, I think. I was with my wife. She was my girlfriend in that time, my wife. And I saw this beautiful girl and she says, teacher, hi, oh my God. <laughs> and I was thinking like, why don't I remember you? How is this possible? I can't remember you. <laughs> yeah, and I said, do you remember me? And I said, I am really sorry. I don't know why I don't remember you. You were my teacher like 10 years ago. Mm. Oh. How old are you? Do you know? Oh my God! So when I when I was your teacher, she was a little girl. Por eso es que no me acuerdo. Yeah, so that, that's sometimes that's one of the bad things. But yeah. one of the most beautiful things is like you always meet people. It was pretty okay. cool. Teacher. Yes. How many class do you have in the day? Just this one. Okay. Before I used to have like eight a day. Eight a day. Oh, Kalena and Carla, do you have problems remembering names or do you have a, a strategy to remember names? Absolutely, all the time. Sometimes <laughs> it's very embarrassing because, I mean, for example, after being a semester with the kids, they get <laughs> mad at you. Like, seriously, how is that you can't remember my name? <laughs> so. Yes, it's, uh, it's terrible. And and imagine that's that's that you see that you have the same students for a whole year. Sometimes I have this, I have students for just one month or one module, and then the next month I have another twenty people, and then the next month I have another twenty people, and and then you know sometimes I and then and then sometimes I confuse. You know what happened to me once? I was in the supermarket and I had a terrible, terrible relation with my ex-girlfriend. She was, um, well, I'm not gonna talk bad, but she was not a good person. Yes. Do you know the devil? I don't even think the devil would accept her in hell. And um, one time I, I saw her in the supermarket, but I'm telling you like many years later and um, I promise you, I did not, I mean, her face looked familiar to me. Her face looked very familiar to me. So it, automatically what I do, maybe she was a student because she looked at me and I looked at, hi, hola, hey, good to see you. But then, you know, so who is she? And then I remember, oh my God, is my ex. <laughs> oh man, y le dije hola. Oh God, hoy va a pensar ella. You know, it was like until later I realized that she was my ex girlfriend. Because if I would have known, I would have like gone, oh, oh, no, no, no. I, I go the other way. I don't, I don't want to see her. <laughs> but run, I, I went, run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, run. And when I saw her, I acted very happy, like hi, hey, good to see you. You know, and then um. And then like one hour later, I was eating and Michaela, oh my God, and I, <laughs> it was my ex. So I imagine she, now she was like, hey, maybe you know, he still wants me <laughs> or something. Yeah. So maybe that's one of the bad things about being a teacher that you, you, you tend to forget names, but the most beautiful thing is all the people you meet. 
that's very nice. All right. Uh, you know, and there's a lot of things, you know, like what is one good thing about or one bad thing about being the president of El Salvadores? Mm -hmm. I, and I'm not I'm not necessarily talking about Bukele, I'm talking about any president. Chivo Wallet. Yeah, you know. Well, no, yeah. I, I'm not necessarily talking. I mean, what is one bad thing about being a president in general? Is that you're never gonna you're never gonna win. You're always going to have people angry at you angry with you and happy with you. Yes, so politics, uh, one bad you're thing. Gonna, you're gonna have a stress easily. You're gonna get the stress being yes. a Christian, right? Yes, but, because you're never, you're never going to do the right thing. Even if you do, you're, it's never gonna be right. Like, look at this president. He made that, that hospital for animals, and now people are criticizing him. Oh, yeah, what about the children? And, and I imagine if he ever makes another hospital for children, it's going to be, oh, what about the old people? And then, and then it's, like, it's, like the, uh, it's like a domino effect thing. <laughs> so yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't like to be a politician. Or maybe you just don't care. <laughs> Easy. Like, like for example, I think Sanchez said in was pretty cool because, because um, I I don't think that man could read. Right. So obviously he did not know. I, I don't. I I can't imagine Sanchez said using a cell phone. I, I I can't. I can't. I don't see him that that intellectual. So he. I I don't think he never knew what happened. <laughs> Or about speaking another language. Yeah, you know, he was just the president. And I, I don't think he ever knew that he was very famous for memes and everything. He was maybe the only one that I can actually believe that he doesn't know anything. In the United States happened the, the same thing, right? With with Joe Biden and some people yes. are missing Donald Trump and you never get well with anybody. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand one thing about United States though that, that like why does a president always have to be over 70? Yes. I, I was talking about with my wife about that. Yes. They are they are always senior, right? Yes. 70s. It's, it's like 80s. Really, it's like really, man, you are really I mean you can be very smart or very prepared and everything, but I don't think you function right. You should be only, resting. Only, only Barack Obama was, I think, the exception, right? The, the most young president, I think. But did you see how he finished? <laughs> he entered his face very young, and now he looks very yes. old. <laughs> yes, it's true. He, because uh, only at the moment they just have reached uh, like enough contacts to get there. Yes. I think I think maybe that's why that's why Naibu Kele is a, is a trend. Do you know what is a trend? Because it's a young. Yeah, um, because yeah. he's a millennium. Him or like the minister of um, Canada. If if you see how they govern is different, they do it more in social media. They do it more with technology. Because they go more for the young people. But it's a good strategy, I think. It's a trend, or like. Um, like right now, uh, it's a sensation. The president of Ukraine, right? Women, yes. do you like? Do you like the women? The president of Ukraine? No, han visto eso? Que todas las mujeres están enamoradas de él. I haven't seen him. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I like his wife. Yeah, I, I I I like I like any woman from the Ukraine. They are beautiful. <laughs> Let me tell you a very quick story. I remember one time, this was maybe 20 years ago. I used to work in an institute of language, an academy. And um, there were two teachers from Ukraine and they were passing by in El Salvador. Oh my God, they were, they were so beautiful. They looked like have you seen the Russian women? I mean, Asieran. But they were lesbian. Eran pareja. 
and imagine that 20 years ago, it was not acceptable in El Salvador. It was not like, oh, you, oh, yeah. now, now it's, it's okay. What happened was that, do you remember Senor Frogs? Or, yes, or, or, or before La Zona Rosa used to be like the famous place everybody went to. So um, all the teachers, we went to that bar. Y I, I took them. Yo las fui a traer a ellas, a la pareja de ucranianas. You know, that we were friends and they were so nice. They were so cool. And I remember I told them, you know, I don't recommend you to kiss in public because in El Salvador, people are very square mind. And no estamos acostumbrados. But remember, 20 years ago. And um, the thing was that they were so beautiful. They could, the, the, el, Había uno de movie star, you know, announcing like, hey, que tal, como esta, blah, 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 blah. And when he saw the two women from Ukraine, he said, hey, how are you? Que tal, como esta? And I said, they don't speak, they only speak English or Ukrainian. So I was the translator. You know, and everybody in the bar was looking at them, you know. So, que tal, que le gusta Salvador? I say, do you like El Salvador? No, si, sí, muy bueno, muy bueno. Do, do you like Pilsner? Do you like Pilsner? Si, sí, muy rica, muy rica. Yeah, and, then, and then I remember that um, the person, he said, okay, I will give you a free um, balde, beers, if you kiss on the lips. Un besito de piquito. And when he said that, I got happy because, oh, este no sabe que son lesbianas. So, okay. And I said, okay. And I remember I told my friends, I told them, okay, look, pretend you have to act, okay? And he wants you two to kiss. And if you do kiss, he's going to give you free beers. But pretend you don't want to. And then, and then the, the two girls, they were like, no, no. Yes, one little kiss. <laughs> and then they said, okay, one little kiss. And then they kissed. You know, and everybody in the bar, oh my God, oh my God, they kissed. Mas no sabían que eran pareja, right? And then, um, and then the man no ofreció una caja if they kiss more. So then they kissed. And it was funny because everybody was looking at me like, oh my God, so el maestro está con estas dos mujeres y pero no sabían que yo, yo, era, yo era el metido ahí. <laughs> But uh, ellas eran de Ucrania y las estoy buscando en, en Facebook porque les quiero preguntar cómo están. Pero no me han contestado. Like, hey, how are you? Is everything okay? They were, they, they were very... They, they hmm? must have been... They must are fighting. <laughs> no, but you know, I, one of them, one of them, she was more in favor of Russia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's like different story because she told me that there are many, many people that they didn't want to be independent. She told me there's a very big, big uh, uh, amount of people from the Ukraine that they still consider themselves Russian. So, um, I think it's good to hear the two sides of the story. <laughs> That's the important thing. Yeah. Oh, and, and Jenny, I went with them to to San Miguel. Fuimos con ellas también. Really? We went to El Triangulo and uh, Sarape. Sarape doesn't exist anymore, right? Yes, but now in the same place is is next to the. Redondelo Leones, okay. you remember? Yeah, do they still do the show? Yes, only the weekend. Okay. Friday to... Is, only the, Friday Juan, to, is the Juan Gabriel imitator still there? <laughs> I, I don't know. Man, I he saw, was so I funny. saw 10 years ago. Yeah, me too. I, it was a long time ago. Yeah, a long time. All right. Okay, class. So... um. If you ever want to practice by yourself, practice tomorrow, like when you're in the car and say, you know, one good, one good thing about 
anything. Like when you're driving, it's like, like me, every morning I listen to Pencho, uh, La Tribu. And um, one good thing about traffic is that I listen to La Tribu and it's funny. So I don't get stressed that much. Do you listen to La Tribu? I listen. Yeah, it's, it's funny, you know, la palabra del día, los chistes, you know. So it's funny because in the morning, I only drive like 45 minutes y cabales, ahora empieza todo. You know, and sometimes I participate. So that, that's how you practice yourself, you know, in the morning, in the afternoon, you know, one bad thing. You know, one good thing about El Salvador is that um, we use the dollar. Or one bad thing about El Salvador is that we use the dollar. It depends how you want to see it. If you like economy, ahí está un punto de, de un tema. If you like politics, you know, one, one good thing about El Salvador, one good thing about this president is that blah, 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 blah. Or one bad thing about this president is that blah, 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 blah. blah. You know, that's how you practice with yourself, okay? So, yeah, um, I will see you tomorrow, class. You have a great day, okay? Okay. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Good you. Night. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.